विड्रॉ एक्सिस ऑफ हॉरिजॉन्टल सिलेंडर एंड बोथ दिस एक्सिस इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव मिलीमीटर सो फ्रॉम दिस एक्सिस एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव मिलीमीटर ऑन दिस साइड लेट वी सिलेक्ट ड्रॉ अनदर एक्सिस दैट इज द एक्सिस ऑफ वर्टिकल सिलेंडर राइट विच इज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ फाइव मिलीमीटर सो फ्रॉम दैट लेट वी ड्रॉ इट्स साइड व्यू like this <coughs> so this is the side view of this combination and by drawing this meter line which is drawn at an angle of 45 degree from here this one we can take projection from here like this projection from this end horizontal and vertical end from here horizontal end from here and we can draw the top view of the penetrating cylinder this is it would be rectangle similarly vertical line from here like this and horizontal line from there so this would be the top view of this cylinder and length of the cylinder if not given we can select any convenient length the distance between the axis of both the cylinder is 5 mm so this is axis of the vertical cylinder and the axis of horizontal cylinder is this one which could be transferred from here to the meter line and from that we draw a horizontal line like this so this axis is the axis of vertical cylinder and the distance this distance is 5 mm which is given in the data now we have to draw its front view so for that again we take projection from here draw straight vertical line from here straight vertical line from here and horizontal lines from here up to this end so from here to here it shows the side view of this sorry front view of this cylinder similarly front view of this vertical cylinder would be like this vertical lines from here from here from here and this one and this is the upper face that is circular and this is the lower face of the penetrating cylinder and the edge of this cylinder this horizontal cylinder would not appear so which is represented by dotted line here this dotted line represents the inner edge upper edge and this dotted line represents the lower edge of this cylinder now how to find out the other points points of intersection of this solid so for that let we divide this solid or this penetrating cylinder into equal number of parts say we i have divided into eight equal parts like this 45 degree angle lines are drawn and we can name the points here say point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 similarly here between 1 and 2 say point number a between 2 and 3 point number b point number 4 and 5 point number c 7 and 8 point number d now find out position of each points say point number a is somewhere here so from that draw straight horizontal line it means that the side view this side view a is side view so its front view would be on this line only or at this point would be on this line where that point that we have to find out so for that how to find out from point a draw straight vertical line that will cut meter line somewhere here from that draw straight horizontal line that will cut the circle exactly here and from that point from where the it cuts the circle 
draw straight vertical line so point a dash would be on this line so where would be point a dash of course here intersection of this vertical line and intersection of this horizontal line so here is point number a dash now how to find out point number 1 point number 1 is here so pro from uh, point number 1 draw straight vertical line and it would pass through point number 3 as well like this and transfer it to meter line and then after transfer to this circle it will cut the circle at two points one point is here another is here so point number 1 is here from that point draw straight vertical line from here and here right and from this point number 1 vertical line from here and vertical line from this point right and similarly horizontal line from this point so point number 1 it will cut somewhere here so these are the points of intersection one point is here another point is here is it clear how to find out point of uh, position of point number 1 let me revise from point number 1 draw a straight horizontal line like this one transfer this point to meter line it will come here from that draw horizontal line it will cut the circle at two points one point is here another point is here and from these two points draw straight vertical line an intersection of these two straight vertical line and this horizontal line will be two points okay. now uh, another point one point is here for that also same analogy to be employed and we have to fi we find out these are the points so now join all these points with the smooth curve as it's a cylinder so it would appear like this this would be the curve of intersection similarly on bottom side also we can find out the points of intersection by employing the same analogy say point number b is here so from point number b draw straight horizontal line from this point straight vertical line it will cut meter line at this point horizontal line from that transfer it to the cylinder so here it will cut the circle from that draw straight vertical line and here is point number b dash right similarly point number 3 is here so from point 3 draw straight horizontal line on this side from point 3 vertical line horizontal line it will cut the circle at this two point vertical line from this vertical line from point this so here two points are there similarly two points would be here so join all these points with the smooth curve so this is the curve of intersection for the bottom edge also now what's about this hidden face on this side also curvature shape would be there so for that let me uh, do employ the same analogy pick up this point point number c from point number c draw a straight horizontal line over here right from point c vertical line which will cut the meter line somewhere here from that draw straight horizontal line which will cut the circle at this point and from that point draw straight vertical line so here point number c dash is there for point number 5 same analogy point number 5 to vertical line horizontal line and it will cut the circle and that point would be somewhere here and as it is behind side it is on the hidden side it will not appear hence it is represented by the dotted line like this a dotted curve which is behind uh, to the back side so it will not be visible similarly here also a one point would be there drawn from this point point number d original line from point d and here this dotted curve represents the intersection which is there to the back side of this solid so this is about the views of this solid it could be drawn like this exit drawing and here one gem one scale is employed so we can insert the dimensions this diameter is 50 millimeter you can write here 550 this diameter diameter of this is 70 millimeter you can write 570 over here because this diameter is 70 
similarly this, this height is 90 millimeter you can write here 90 90 and this width is we have taken 80 millimeter you can write here 80 80 millimeter and this is the front view this is side view and this is top view of this problem and here one gem one scale is used so it's not compulsory to mention the scale if you have used one is to one scale phi represents it's a diameter so i hope the solution is clear to you this is the analogy of the drawings which we have made this is the front view which is drawn over here one curve this is the curvature shape that we have drawn this dotted line is the curvature shape to the back side this is the side view it ca it can be analyzed with this one and in this top view this is the top view which is drawn over here so i hope the solution of this problem number 3 is clear to you now next problem problem number 4 the data is given like this a square prism 80 mm sides and 160 mm height is resting on its square base all the faces of prism makes equal angle with vertical plane it is penetrated by another square prism of the same size the axis of both the prisms are 10 mm away from each other draw front view top view and side view showing lines of intersection so in this in this data two square prisms given to us we have to draw the intersectional points intersectional lines and the point uh, show curves of intersection and both are prisms so here curve will not be there all the lines would be the straight lines to draw the solution of this problem first let me draw a square prism the side length of the square prism is given to us that is 80 millimeter and 80 millimeter is the longer distance so we reduce the scale 1 is to 2 so 40 millimeter let me take 40 millimeter as the side length because we can reduce the scale as the given dimensions are bigger so first it is given that the all basis makes equal angle with x y line so draw a square in such a way that all of its faces makes 45 degree angle with x y line so it this is the solid and draw meter line as well to draw its side view and front view by drawing this meter line and transferring these points over here one point over here these two points over here and this point over here and from this draw straight vertical line like this straight vertical line from here straight vertical line from here so its front view its side view would appear like this knowingly I have left uh, this uh, rectangle and I have not completed this rectangle because it would be needed to erase this portion otherwise you have to draw full rectangle and this is the side view similarly we can draw its front view as well by drawing the li projection lines from here projection lines from here as well of course it would be rectangle but we know that it would be needed to erase so I have not drawn complete rectangle and here the axis would be there and this line would be the full line and here we have to represent its axis this is the axis and it is given that the distance between two axes is 10 millimeter so at, at a distance of 10 millimeter on this side somewhere here mark a point and from that point draw the axis of this penetrating solid right like this so this is the axis of the penetrating solid and in that solid also it is given that all the sides of that penetrating solid makes equal angle with x y line 
so here also we have to draw this square in such a way that all its sides makes an equal angle with x y line that is 45 degree so draw line at an angle of 45 degree such that its side length is 40 mm uh, which is given in the data of course line the length is 80 mm but because we have reduced the scale up to 1 is to 2 it would be 40 mm so this is the penetrating square prism and to draw its two views of this penetrating square prism let me transfer the points to the meter line one is here another is here from here we can transfer to here similarly on this side also it could be transferred from this end to this end and this is the top view here also the upper edge would be there which will not be visible in this square shape of the prism so which is represented by the dotted line this edge so this is regarding top view of the solid now about its front view for that we have to transfer the points from its top view from here and transfer the points from this end to this one and from this bottom edge to this one now how to find out the points of intersection so for that let me pick up each points one by one one point is here let me name the points so here is a b c and d four endpoints are there and between a and b point number one is here point number b and c point number two is here c d three a d four now point number one is here so from that point draw straight horizontal line like this vertical line from point one from here to here here to here that will cut this square at this point this vertical square from that draw straight vertical line so here point number one would be there right what we have done we have picked up the point and transferred that point to the intersectional 